Hey, Vaughn? Hmm? Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Squads 3 through 6 are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir! Sir.
Hey, Buckethead! Over here! Buckethead! Over here!
quite a performance. Who are you? I play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the Magicide. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. You're free, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. Damn! All this way! Fran, let's move! <sighs> Off with you! This up and I will. What's going on, Fran? I don't know. It's not heeding me. I don't have time for this. Not slipping. Not good. What happened? A hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind.
insurgents. Most like they thought to take advantage of a lax watch at the palace while the fate's on, to feed the good consul a length of steel for his supper. I should think Vane used to such hospitality. Clever. He used himself as the bait to draw them near and then sent in the air brigade. A fine bloody banquet. Hmm. I dare say I've soiled my cuffs. If a dungeon's waiting for us at the end of the night, it had best have a change of wardrobe. Right. <laughs> 